Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Flash, issue number 31. All right, right now we have Bloodwork. He's tearing through the city, all right? And essentially the Flash is trying to appeal to Ramsey from down in uh, the Bloodworks lab. That's why, that's why he's calling himself Bloodwork. Anyway, from down in the forensics lab, he's trying to tell him that, listen, you haven't hurt anybody yet, but you need to calm down because you're about to. So the whole city's trying to evacuate, whatevs, I get it. Uh, Flash then realizes that Ramsey is basically a heart. And he's he's basically sending veins of blood everywhere. So that makes a little bit more sense. Otherwise, that's like really good control over blood. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, Flash is not able to keep on stopping, uh, running around and, and just saving people alone. So he goes and tries to talk to Ramsey and then runs off and helps people. Goes back, talk to Ramsey and wash, rinse, repeat. And there's a whole lot of washing because there's a lot of blood. I'm just saying, like the city looks terrible right now. Blood stains everywhere. It looks like there was a murder here. <laughs> so uh, he, anyways, at one point, Flash finally realized that he's not helping matters because he's really only pissing Ramsey off more. So he tries to get really close to him and he says, listen, here's the deal, okay? Um, this is not your fault, okay? It's not my fault. It's, it's just, this is what it is, okay? But like, I understand where you're coming from and I know you want to say that I don't, but I do. You don't understand all the people I've hurt from their, from my lies and all different things like that. I've pushed people away also. And I also, I'm trying to just not be hurt. And it's funny because that's the main thing with Ramsey. He's, you know, as a hemophiliac, he's always trying to not get hurt. And he's always thinking that somebody's trying to hurt him. That's a horrible feeling. I can't imagine growing up thinking somebody's always trying to hurt you. Everybody's always trying to hurt you. So fear, hell of a motivator. <laughs> so uh, essentially, Flash was just trying to trick him so he can get closer and touch him and then use his his black lightning, his negative speed zone, uh, speed force power on the heart itself. And that's able to disrupt his powers long enough, maybe permanently. Who knows? Anyway, Ramsey gets stopped and he gets handcuffed and he's about to be taken away. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is that at one point, Ramsey starts talking trash like, ah, all the evidence is gone. What are you going to do? It's like, okay, hold on. That doesn't sound like fear, especially since you don't have your powers anymore right now. Um, that sounds like it's not fear. So now the character is immediately working from a different angle. Like, it's cool, I guess, but I personally, I would have loved to read that he's still very frightened and probably more so now that he doesn't have his power. Um, I don't know. That's just, that's just the way I'm looking at it. Nonetheless, still a really great story. And at the end, we see that they're really trying to make Singh look like a bad guy. Listen, if you ever want to get on my bad side, do something stupid and don't take responsibility for it. That's not a recommendation. That's just simply a warning <laughs> that, no, this is like the worst kind of person in the world to me. And that's pretty much the way they're making Singh out to be in this. He basically, he transfers not only, not only Barry, but also Kristen over to Iron Heights Penitentiary. Um, and basically it's like, you know, Barry, I've been trying to be a uh, tough love with you. And I realize I just need to be tough with you. Okay. Worst management style ever. I know a lot of people like to think that yelling and barking at people gets things done more, but it actually doesn't. It absolutely doesn't because it makes it so that their heart is not in it for you. If nobody, if people don't want it, like this is just a thing from the army. I know on TV, they show drill sergeants yelling at people and things like that. Yeah. Then after basic training, you become a human being. All right. And at this point, you're willing to die for the person to your left and to your right, in front of you, behind you, for your leaders, for anything, because you realize there's a bond between you guys and it's not barking and yelling and screaming and, and putting people's faces in the mud and trying to destroy their egos. No, it's about building you up and making you into one hell of a person. And if Singh can't figure that out, clearly the writer does not want us to like Singh at all. I'm kind of okay with that because apparently we're not going to see too much of him anymore. Um, the idea that they're going over to Iron Heights right now is a freaking awesome idea. I love it. Like right in the thick of it. And of course, we're going to have another pissed off woman in Barry's life. So that kind of sucks for him, but hopefully he's able to make it work. I would genuinely like to see, like this is rebirth, man. This is like the phoenix has risen from the ashes, baby. I want to see him trying to get with Kristen. Why does it have to be Iris? You know what I'm saying? Guys, I'm going to give this comic an A. This is a really, really good comic. I love what I'm reading in this comic book right now. And on top of that, we were just talking about Iris. She is now trying to become a photographer. Like she's, she's out doing like man on the streets interviews with the whole thing with blood work. Um, I can't tell you how happy I am for her right now. She's trying to make her own life. And that is freaking awesome. And make that life outside of Barry. Yes, 
please do that. Of course, eventually they're going to get back together again. Uh, am I happy with that? Whatever. It's just, it's inevitable, right? Be upset that the sun's going to rise from the east. And in the meantime, Wally, uh, should I say Black Wally? Is is that politically correct? Whatever. Uh, it's Black Wally is, <laughs> he shows up and, and, and he's like, yo, dude, I'm going to train you now. You trained me, now I'm going to train you. Basically just, I'm going to work with you and help you work out your powers, which yes, Flash, I've been yelling at you to do that for the past three issues. Anyway, guys, great comic. Definitely recommend it. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.